Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty D TV. But I was at the 2021 SEMA show and I came across a very cool 1968 C10 pickup truck I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. John, how have you been, brother? Great, great. Man, what do you got going on here? Well, we got a 1968 C10. Uh, so this truck we actually built for a customer out of Missouri. His name's Josh and uh, kind of a funny story. He, he actually found me uh, originally in 96 and wanted to have a truck done. And at that time, couldn't afford it. Um, and But he's like, man, he said, I love what you guys do. He said, I'll be back one of these days. So all these years later, he gets a hold of me and he says, uh, man, I got this C10 truck. He said, I, I'd just love to have you guys build and uh, kind of gives me the load out about it and stuff. And I'm like, well, yeah, I said, well, you know, we can do that. So then, you know, we kind of started talking and he started t telling me the whole story about it. So I'm like, look, we got to hook this guy up, you know? And so uh, brought me a fairly clean, C10, but you know, the usual, we still had to replace some sheet metal. So we put some good Mark sheet metal on it and, you know, did our thing as far as getting rid of the typical rust, like always, you right. know, it's a 1968. So, you know, holes everywhere, you know, it's just the, you know, it's just what Even happens. a solid truck has holes. In Absolutely. It. Yeah. You know, and, and we like to take it all out. So sure. the best thing is, is, you know, we get it blasted, get rid of all the garbage and make it right. Yeah. Uh, then from there you start you know, doing the cut you don't and want slicing. to do all this work and have rust come back through yeah, absolutely. like that. Absolutely. That'd and, be terrible. And well, and, and that's the nice thing about blasted it. You, you know, you know what you got to throw away and replace because you've got it down to bare metal and you can get rid of that stuff. But ultimately, so this truck, he kind of let me render and kind of said, what would you do? Kind of thing. And I'm like, you sure you want to go there? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen what yeah. I do? <laughs> and he's like, dude, he said, I've been following you forever. And he said, I, I've, I've saw all your stuff. And he said, you know, the only thing I can say is he said, I want it to be a, a classy look. You know, he's like, I'm thinking more, you know, more like grays and browns and stuff like that, more than like the crazy yellow, you know. And I'm like, well, we can render it a couple different ways and then you make the decision. So we rendered it up a few different times and I did this titanium color. He kept going back to this one. He's like, you know, he said, I really kind of like that titanium look. Um, he's like, I think that I haven't seen that color really on a C10. and um, he said, I really just like that classier look than the crazy stuff. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. I said, but then we've got to take the modifications to the next level then, because the paint's not right. going to pull you. That's right. And so at that point he was kind of like, um, well, what do you think? And so then we kind of redid the rendering to kind of bring in some of those modifications. And, uh, that's really what, when I showed him that the next rendering of the titanium look, he was like, yeah, that's the one, you know, oh, yeah. he said, let's do that. So um, getting back to the truck, it's, um, it ultimately is, um, it's on a custom chassis. It's, it's got the um, hydro shocks. So it's a hydraulic coilover, which is pretty cool. Right. So it's fully adjustable suspension like air ride, but it's actually a coilover shock system. Right. It's the best of both worlds. It is. Yeah. So it's, that's pretty slick. And obviously we laid this thing on the ground. Sure. We built custom ground effects for it that are carbon fiber. Uh, the whole inside of the bed is carbon fiber. There's carbon no wood. Carbon fiber covered or carbon fiber, carbon fiber? Carbon fiber. Wow. The hood is a, I guess, kind of a replica look of a ZL1 Camaro. So the scoop from a newer ZL1, we made that onto a stock hood and then put a, a ZR1 Lexon window in the middle of it. And then after I got that all done, I'm like, look, we really got to kind of add that carbon fiber to this because it just isn't going to look right if we don't tie that carbon in. So we did a carbon fiber overlay from, um, and it, it's not just regular carbon fiber, so it's actually copper woven carbon fiber. So if you look at it, it's got a copper wire accent woven within the oh carbon fiber. It, it is crazy looking. Where do you get that from? If, uh, Concept and Visions is actually the company that makes the, the material, I guess I'll call it. Right. Um, and again, like anything, you can make anything out of it. You right. just basically... What do they use it for? So it, it, it's just a, um, you know, it's just for looks. I mean, it's, it's, it gives you the strength of carbon fiber, but if you're going to leave it raw, it gives you almost that custom painted effect, okay. but it's, you know, clear resin over top of, so it's almost like a metallic in your paint. I got you. But when you see it, you, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll know you'll know what it is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, right. there's no mistaking it. Yeah. You know, once we started on that, it was kind of like, oh, we could put some here and then we could put some there. And then I was like, man, we could do the inside of the bed. You know, we did the, the inner fender wells. And uh, again, I don't think it's too much. Yeah. I think it's a nice 
combination. Well, I think I think that C10 will allow you to do. You don't have to do anything to them, but it'll also take a lot too. Right. You can do a lot to Well, them. and you know, we were trying to build a C10 that we hadn't seen. Right. And good lord, you know, you there's seen this one. hundreds, thousands yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, new ones so every day. It's like, what can you do that hasn't already been done ten times? Right. You know, so these are just some things that we felt like, you know, in my mind, I'm going. I don't want it to just look like somebody else. Oh, that's. That looks like Fred's truck right, or right, Jim's right. truck. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I wanted this to be Josh's truck, right. you know, and that's exactly what it is. What are you powering it with? Uh, LS3 Pro Charged, cool. 4L80, customer end, uh, Ford 9 inches narrowed. Uh, we've got uh, Scotch wheels, uh, which are uh, 22 by uh, 13s in the rear. Nice deep dish on them. Uh, and then we did the Cerakote on them, so it's got that bronze kind of finish on the, on the front of it. And then it's got Toyo tires on it, so we did a 325 on the back, so it's got some nice meats underneath What's on the it. front? What size wheels on the front? Uh, it is a 20 by 10 in the front. And a 20 by what? And a 20 by 13 on the rear. Okay, okay. Or, right. I'm sorry, 22 by 13 22, on the rear. 22, okay. Yeah. 20 and 22. Yes, correct. Down straight. Gotcha. All right. The cool part about it with the hydro shocks is this thing lays down on the ground, but we tuck the wheels in enough that it will still drive half inch off the ground, full lock to lock. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. So it, it's, I mean, you could roll down the interstate at 75 as long as it was nice and right, smooth. Right, right, right. Um, and, 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 you know, still drive it and steer it just like it's raised up. How cool so that? it's pretty slick. Oh, um, very cool truck, brother. Yeah, the interior on it is, uh, is actually pretty high end too. Uh, probably one of my favorite interiors that we've done. Uh, so this is all a company called Apex Leather. So this is kind of a new company that used to be a uh, leather hide store, but now Apex has actually opened up a automotive only division and so it's called apex leather so we picked a couple colors out and uh, it's kind of a i guess i'd call it kind of a peanut butter right. uh, and then it's got a distressed gray the whole floor is leather wrapped uh custom recessed floor mats, floor mats right. that are remember you doing those oh, oh yeah i mean yeah. They're, they're trick center console is really trick it's got two of the new sony 10 inch es subs that are uh, it's in a stack fab box with Luxon sides that shoot down in the floor and do this thing just hammers. Yeah. I mean, like jiggles your eyeballs. Right on. Uh, and for two tens, you don't normally get that kind of punch. Right. But all in all, I mean, you know, pro spray paint with, uh, so it's a, uh, the base color is actually, it's called titanium and it's actually a Rolls Royce color. Oh, wow. But then I, you know me, I yeah. got to do my thing. So I mixed in some color shift pearls into it. So just looking at it, it's kind of a silvery bronze kind of a color but it actually has silver on the top, fades down seven colors to brown at the bottom. Oh, wow. But if you're just looking at it, right. you just think it's the titanium. Right. Um, and then, uh, you know, again, adding that pearl, and of course I got my checkerboard ghosted stuff and all the goodies, you know, right. that's just how I like to do it. Flush the glass, one piece windows, LEDs molded in for marker lights. Uh, the tailgate is motorized. It's got a billet rear wing that is actually motorized. So the oh, wing okay. is actually fully active. Uh, I mean, it's just got, you know, days worth of modifications to it. Always. Ab absolutely. You, you got Color to. Color and modification. That's it. That's John, what we do. I appreciate it, brother. Thanks so much for giving me some time today. You bet. No problem, Scotty. So there you go from the 2021 SEMA show, a 1968 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck. c -tanium. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.